In my village, this finger is representing the earth element because it's very practical. Like this, you can do this. This finger is representing the water element, the emotional level. That's why we put ring when we get married on this finger. This finger is representing the fire element, energetic level, and it's very dangerous because when you show to someone, it means you are on fire and ready to fight. This finger is representing air element because it shows directions and also the air representing intellectual level, the mind. And this finger is representing the fifth element spirit because it's different from the other fingers. And the fifth element spirit or space is really different from other elements. That's why we use these two fingers when we meditate, the spirit and the mind. But sometimes we use other fingers for meditations, depends of which meditation. I know in yoga there are other interpretations of which finger is representing which element, but this one it's in alignment with chakras, so in the same order. This was another lost wisdom of the five elements from my village and I have much more to show you because my mission on this planet is to bring back this lost wisdom of nature. And next time I will tell you something really incredible about the marriage ring. Om Namah Shivaya.